Hey everybody, Glenn from PS Nation here and uh, today we're going to give you kind of a refresher on something that we talked about way back in November when the PS4 first came out and that is upgrading the hard drive to a bigger drive for uh, more space obviously. Uh, so our awesome, awesome community has uh, done a bunch of research and we found a very specific drive that's working incredibly well for everyone. So we want to go over today uh, the entire process, uh, finding the drive that's right for you, getting the PS4 open, throwing the drive in, downloading the correct firmware, installing it, and uh, getting everything going. So it's a very easy process, and as you'll see in this video, it's going to go pretty quickly. I think the longest part of this is, is formatting the drive, which doesn't take that long. So first up, uh, the drive that everyone's talking about is the Samsung Seagate Momentus Spinpoint M9T. So you can get that on Amazon for about 120 bucks right now, but the cool thing is, and somebody else found out, you can actually get this. So what this is, it's the exact same drive inside an external enclosure. It's a USB 3.0 enclosure. But if you pop it open, it's the same exact drive. And guess what? This is 20 bucks cheaper. So uh, what this is, and uh, you'll see the name on the screen here, and also we'll have the link in the YouTube video and also on the article on the, on the uh, website at psnation.com. Uh, but this is the Seagate Backup Plus Slim 2 terabyte portable external hard drive. Uh, and again, this is a USB 3.0 external enclosure. So even the better part of this is once you get the drive out of here and put it in your PS4, you can take that drive out of the PS4 if you want and put it in this enclosure and use that for a 500 gig external drive. Or you can keep it around just in case you have a crash because you can throw that original drive back in the PS4. Uh, but you can, you can buy any USB uh, or actually any SATA 3 drive and throw it in this enclosure and it works fine. Uh, so. When you open this box, you get two things. You'll get the hard drive itself, the enclosure, which you'll have to pry open a little bit. There's some glue in here, and uh, I'll show it to you when it's op opened up. We'll do some close-up shots. Uh, but you just pry this open. It takes about five minutes to get it open if you want to be careful so you can reuse it. And then a USB 3.0 drive. And you know it's USB 3.0 because the end, I don't know if you can see it in there, but it's blue instead of the regular black. So. That's all there is, so we're going to crack that open, and uh, we're going to crack the PS4 open. Got it right here, raring to go. Uh, and this is a stock PS4. I've never had it open before, uh, so this is going to be the, the first time I've done it on this PS4, just like everybody out there. So I'll be right back with all that. Oh, hey, before we get started, uh, one other thing that I wanted to remind people to do, make sure that even if you have automatic backup set up uh, for PlayStation Plus so that it backs up your, all of your saved games to the cloud, I actually went in and backed them all up manually. It took an extra, like, 5, 10 minutes, but it's really worth it in the, at the end of the day just to make sure that you don't lose anything. Uh, because once you take this drive out, nothing is going to be there. Uh, you can't restore anything, et cetera, et cetera. You have to re-download all the saved games from the cloud. Uh, so you can't back it up to, the, to a USB drive like you could before on the PS3. So just take the extra time, have some patience, and actually back that stuff up yourself. Uh, I think you're going to be happy that you did it at the end of the day. Uh, but that's really the only thing you need to do in terms of uh, kind of being ready for it from the PS4's perspective. Uh, the system itself, itself still stays activated. It's still registered to you. Your PSN icon will work perfectly. Uh, if you do have a problem when you want to uh, bring it up and activate it, if, if it's not showing up activated, you may have to go in and un or like deactivate and then reactivate it. I've heard of that happening, but not often. Uh, the nice thing is you're putting the newest firmware on right away when you download this, so uh, you shouldn't have any issues. So just wanted to kind of give that caveat and say, you know, take the extra time before you unplug this thing. Uh, get in there and, and just back up all your save files to the cloud if you can. If you don't have PS Plus, uh, I don't know why you don't. Uh, you know, actually, I think you can back stuff up to the USB drive. I've never tried it though, so you might want to take a look. But yeah, just do that. I mean, if you don't have PlayStation Plus, you might not need to update the f hardware anyway right now, or the hard drive, since you can't really download load any downloadable games. I don't know. All right, let's get to this uh, hard drive. All right, so let's first talk about the drive. So what I did is I actually pried this apart, uh, but just using a small straight edge screwdriver and just getting that you can see that there's kind of a lid all the way around the top of this and you probably won't be able to see it on here but all you have to do is just kind of get the screwdriver in there and pry forward and there's there's some glue around the top so here I'll take this off now and kind of show you what it looks like 
So there you go. So as you can see, there's some glue up here and it's no big deal. I mean, you can just take it right off. And the cool thing is it'll go back on when you're done. So uh, not a big deal. But there's the drive itself. And pretty easy to get it out of here, although I haven't taken it out yet. So since the USB port is right there, that means that the connector is on this end as well. So you'll probably have to get up in here a little bit. Let's see if, uh, see if the screwdriver can help us out. So you just kind of want to get in here and lift it out. There you go. It popped. There we go. So just get that out of there. Then pull it out this way. Oh, there we go. So the connector is already on there. So the, as you can see, there's kind of a foil all along here. So we're going to have to get this off. So it looks like there's just three flaps. So do this really carefully. You don't want to tear it, obviously, if you want to reuse this enclosure. But it's coming off pretty easily. This is what happens when you bite your nails. Okay, there's two, and actually I'm pretty sure, well, I'm going to have to tear this one because it's underneath the label. So actually I'll just cut through it. Small price to pay to save 20 bucks. Okay. Think I've got it. All right. So just peel that forward, and there's probably something plugged in, so you just have to, well, probably be easier to just take this foil off too. And there's the board. There's the circuit board right there. So you can take that foil all the way off if you want. And there's the circuit board. So it's just plugged into the port. Comes off right like that, real easily. And you can save that for later. You don't even need that foil, really, if you want to uh, use this drive again, or use the enclosure again. So there's the drive. All right, so let's set that down. And we'll get into the system. Okay, so uh, you're gonna only need like a smaller Phillips head screwdriver which is the, this is the flathead one I was using before. Uh, pretty small because the, the, the screws in the drive are actually pretty small. Uh, pretty easy to get to though. And you should be able to use the same screwdriver to get the main screw out as well. So just press down on the, uh, on the shiny section here. I'm gonna get fingerprints all over it now. And then just pull back and it should just pull right off. And there you go, pretty easy. So right here is the hard drive carrier itself. So if you ever did this on the PS3, it's actually a pretty similar concept, except uh, it's even easier, I think, to really get everything out of here. So just want to go after this main screw. It actually has the four PlayStation symbols on it. That's how you know which one it is. It's also the biggest screw on here. So you just want to unscrew this, get that out of there, and then this just pulls right out. There you go. So there's four screws, four black screws. I don't know if they're black on every one of them. On mine they are. And this is just what's hold, what holds the drive in. So you're just going to take the four screws out, slide this drive out, slide the new drive in, and uh, we'll put it back in the system. <clears throat> All right, so uh, here's the last screw. Just get this out of here. Pretty easy. And there you go. So all four screws are out. Just slide out, there's your old drive. New drive, the ports, you'll see the ports and pins and everything on here. That goes on the outside, the open end. And you just slide it in and then you're gonna see that the holes will actually match up with these holes right here. And then just put the screws back in. So I'll do that now and I won't waste your time with that. Okay, so all four screws are back in. And this is the new drive. So we're just going to take it, slide it right back in, and click it. And you'll know it's in if this hole lines up, and that's where that big screw goes again. 
So we'll just start it off. Me and my big sausage fingers. And just tighten that up. And there we go. Put the lid back on and actually you want to try to hook this underneath first. And then just slide it on. They never go on very easily, I've noticed. Of course, when I don't film it, it goes on really easily, but. There we go. And then just do that to make sure it's popped on. And there you are. So the next step is you need to download a specific PS4 firmware that's made for when you put a new hard drive in the system. So I'm gonna do that. We're gonna put the link on where to find that firmware in the article and also at the, on the YouTube post. And we'll also put that up on the screen. Uh, but you're gonna download that to a flash drive a USB flash drive that you know works with the PS4. And uh, we'll get on to the next steps. So what you'll see next is actually some footage. We're going to capture the video right from this so you can see how it goes. All right, well, I had a little technical difficulty on the first screen. But uh, basically, when you boot the PS4 up the first time, uh, make sure that you put the USB drive into the PS4's USB slot before you turn it on. Uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to download a very specific firmware from uh, the PlayStation site. And like I said, the link should be on the screen now. And also, uh, we'll have it on the posting on the YouTube channel and on our article at psnation.com. So what you're going to do is download that firmware and put it into a very specific folder that you're seeing on the screen right now. Uh, make sure that both folders are in all caps. So the, uh, the names of the folders are in all caps. That's a, a very important thing. So once you get that done, it's going to boot up and it's going to say, uh, it's going to spin for a little bit and it's going to say you need a uh, firmware of 1.72 or higher, which you do. And uh, you're just going to say yes. So it'll spin for about another minute and then it's going to come up to this screen. And uh, it's just, you know, are you sure? Yes or no? It's the old Microsoft way. Say yes, and it'll do the format and install the firmware. <clears throat> okay, once it initializes, it will uh, restart. You'll get a black screen for a little bit, and then you'll see this screen. And now it's going to install the firmware. All right, so the firmware has installed. It rebooted, and uh, now it looks like it's booting back up for us. And I'm already connected, so I'm just going to register. There we go. English, obviously. <clears throat> Now, obviously, some of this I'm going to skip over a little bit. Uh, I don't have the camera plugged into this PS4, so I'm going to skip that. I'm in central time. That actually looks about right. Yes, I didn't read it. So I'm not going to show you my account, obviously. And, yeah, a new firmware came out just today, so uh, that's going to be downloading in the background while we do this. Uh, time to set up my account. So as, as you can see, everything is gone that was there before uh, because this is a brand new hard drive. Um, definitely want to go. <clears throat> and set up my PSN account. Ah, so it wants me to update. Okay. Well, this might happen to you, too, because uh, I downloaded this firmware a couple weeks ago when I put my other hard drive in my other PS4. So we'll go ahead and update quick. <clears throat> All 
All right, so I ran that update that had to be run still. Uh, here I have to put my sign-in ID and password. So obviously I'm going to skip this on the video itself. So let me put that in, and we'll cut over to after I put this in. All right, my account is in. Boom, PS Nation. All right. So there we go. Um, one thing you might want to do just to be safe is go in and grab your... Actually, let's do it without that. Uh, but you should be able to go to your library right away and start downloading stuff. So there you go. There's all the games. Uh, so we'll grab the golf club. And there you go. Just start downloading your stuff. Uh, remember that you can't download a save file to your system until the game is actually installed. So if I wanted to go grab my save files for like Battlefield 4 or whatever else, that isn't going to work because I don't have Battlefield 4 installed on this one yet. Uh, but if we want to go take a look, System Storage Management, there we go. Uh, free space, 1765 gig. So about 1.7 terabytes roughly. Uh, but there you go. That's that's all there is to it. Really, this didn't take more than a half an hour to do. Maybe 45 minutes because I had to pry the, uh, the drive out of the, uh, the enclosure. But very easy process. And uh, just, you know, if you, if you get everything ready ahead of time, it shouldn't take you too long at all. Uh, like I said, the most time is going to be re-downloading everything to this, uh, especially some of the games that have extraordinarily long installs. Uh, so like your Madden, Battlefield 4, oh, go figure, two EA games. And uh, like um, MLB The Show, uh, if, if you want to do something besides Road to the Show. So uh, if you have any questions, like I said, shoot us an email to podcast at psnation.com. Uh, hit over to psnation.com if you want, and you can comment on this article. Or when we get the new forums up, we can definitely get a discussion going on the forums about this as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. I uh, hope it really worked out for you. I hope it helped. And uh, good luck with putting the 2TB drive in. It's going to be really nice to have, folks. Uh, it's it's going to allow you to keep a lot of stuff installed and save a bunch of videos, all sorts of things from Share. So it is well worth it. And for $100, not, not a bad upgrade at all when you look at how much these hard drive upgrades were on the systems like in the last generation. So um, enjoy. Thanks much. Check us out on Twitter at PS Nation. Check us out on Facebook. Check us out on Twitch at uh, twitch.tv slash psnation. Our YouTube channel, which is uh, Torgo100. And you can also check us out on the website, psnation.com. Take care.